What's up, this is Richie from the Where We Wild YouTube channel and today I'm gonna to show you guys 10 of my favorite fishing hacks and I'm starting right now. All right, so without further ado, here are 10 of my favorite fishing hacks in no particular order. Some of you OG guys probably have seen a few of these before, but uh, hopefully even you guys learned something new. Let's get into it. So when you're gonna use mono to fill up your reel, what you wanna do is drop it in a bucket or your sink filled with warm water. Not boiling hot, just, just hot enough where you can, you can feel a little heat on your hands, but just a little hotter than warm, I think is the best. And you just let it sit there for a couple minutes, the longer the better probably, while you're getting your reel ready to uh, spool it up. That way it takes a lot of the memory that's from being on this spool and kind of just loosens up the line a little bit so uh, it goes on your reel a little easier. So when it's time to actually spool the line onto your reel, especially a spinning reel, you always get a lot of line twist that happens when the line goes from the old spool to the new spool. So by leaving it in the water, it allows the spool to bounce around and twist around freely in all the directions it needs to go for that line to come off it much straighter. So a good way to organize your hooks is to take the number off the package and put it right in with the hooks so you always know what size you're at. The other good thing is to use safety pins like this so your hooks are all organized and they're not flying all over the box and sometimes with these small drop shot hooks and stuff they'll slide underneath the dividers and all get mixed up so if they're on one of these they ain't going anywhere. Another one of my little hacks is I'll take a prescription bottle like this and I'll wrap my leader line around it. This is a 17 pound fluoro and I'll either make individual length leaders like 12 feet long and I'll just wrap them individually then tape wrap another one tape wrap another one tape so that way when I'm out fishing I don't have to uh, worry about uh, cutting leaders or anything they're just there on the bottle ready to go or I'll just straight up put leftover line eight pound mono fluoro whatever I'm using for my leader and just wrap it around there and that way it's I don't have to take a whole big spool with me fishing I just can take this little bottle and it fits right into my box or bag or whatever I'm taking that day. If you're using a drop shot and it's time to switch spots or time to pack it up and go home, you go to put your hook on your little bait holder, but now you got the weight to deal with and it's all over the place and getting tangled and stuff, a good little trick is to just take that extra line and wrap it around the handle of your reel. That way it's nice and tight and compact and out of your way. And next time you go fishing or when you get to your new spot, you just unwrap it and you're ready to go. So when you're transporting your rods, whether it's in a car or on a boat, or you're just walking along with five rods in one hand, a lot of times the line on a rod will get tangled in the lure that's on another rod, and all your rods kind of get stuck together, and it's always a mess and hard to pull them apart. But if you take the line on each rod and just twist your rod around, that way you kind of wrap the line around a certain eye. I usually like to use the big eye right in the middle. It kind of takes all that extra line and keeps it pressed up against the rod and it makes it a lot harder for it to get tangled in another rod. Then when you're ready to use that rod to actually fish, you just turn it the opposite way, straighten out the line, and you're good to go. So a little hack when you're using a rubber worm or a Cinco like this and you got your wide gap hook on there, a lot of times this bait will just slide right down this as you cast it over and over. A nice little trick is to just pull it back and stab the tip of the hook in there. It keeps the bait from sliding down and it also makes it weedless. Another cool little trick with these Cinco's is obviously after using them for a while they're going to get all beat up and if you're running out of them you can do a couple things to keep fishing them. You can cut the top off and give yourself a nice fresh top to stick a hook into as long as the middle is still okay. Or you can actually grab a lighter and just melt it back down and kind of solidify the plastic again and get rid of the holes that you put in it with the hook just to make it more solid so you can keep fishing it. Instead of standing here for two hours wrapping the line around your hand like this, just go to Walmart or any craft store and get yourself one of these little sticks or you can make one out of any type of stick you got. 
Throw it in your old drill there. Tie the line around the stick and just crank this drill. Get that line right off. All right, so that's it, man. Those are 10 of my favorite fishing hacks. I use that stuff all the time. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to drop a like, and if you're into this sort of thing, don't forget to hit subscribe. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Later. If you wanna see more videos just like this one, be sure to check out the rest of the Where We Wild YouTube channel, where we post a brand new video every week. And don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell icon so you get notified whenever we post a new adventure. Thanks for watching.